something burned her. But what? The case. What happened? Ugh. My head. Keep moving. <sighs> Agent Carter, I'm Agent Nils. Director Falk ordered me to... Falk? Is he still alive? Last I heard. Grab that two-way over there and try to reach him. Director Falk, come in. This is Carter. This is Agent Kinney. The director and I are defending the sublevel lab. Do you have an escape route? We're maintaining position until you and Mills report for evac. Right. I'm on my way. Get to the advanced materials warehouse and take the elevator to the sublevel. We'll hold here as long as we can. Come on, we can cut through here. Door. I'll meet you inside. All right, gotta get that door open. Sorry, soldier. I need this more than you do. A squad commander lives and dies by their choices on the battlefield. Charging into combat only gets a brave soldier shot. If a commander wants to achieve victory over superior forces, they must be observant, creative, and precise. Here. Get in position behind those crates. I'll oh, flight them from the window. Opening fire! Nowhere to hide, you bastards! Eat lead! Ah! Oh, damn it, dug in! Another enemy down! That got him! Let's meet up by the door on the other side.
Nice shot. You're good, Carter. I used to be. Bullshit. Falk wouldn't be interested in you if you weren't the best. Nothing we could do for him. Poor bastard. Get some fire on that ship! The air is slowing down! Hit him with everything we've got! Incoming! Hold your position! Cover and position will keep your agents safe and opens the enemy to attack. You can cue actions for your agents, such as moving to a position and firing on an exposed enemy. Watch for opportunities and make every shot count. The battlefield can be your ally if you use it well. Actions! Keep firing! Watch out! They got some kind of machine gun nest! Hold on, I've got an idea. Get behind that! Moving out! Set up crossfire. That's your target. It's mine! We'll figure it out after they're dead. Focus on that target. That's the last of them. <laughs> Regroup, fellas. All right, on my way. On you. supposed to explode. Focus on that one. Here goes! That's it. Let's keep moving. Hit that button. The elevator will take us down to Director Falk. Hit the 
call button before more of them show up. Grab some cover. Where do you want me, Carter? Cover. Move. On my way. That one's yours. He's mine. Open fire! Go, go! That's it. Let's head down. Those taller ones. They're different. I think they're giving the orders. The others are just grunts. Jesus. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. How do we know Director Folk is still alive? The old man's tough as nails. And he's got Kenny and Weaver to watch his back. Yeah, but who says they can be trusted? They've been with us since the beginning. If anyone's loyal to Falk, it's those two. What the hell are those? Jesus! Holy hell. Poor bastard. We never stood a chance. We've got to reach Director Falk before they do. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it. Just before the attack, one of our people turned on me. One of ours? I think she was infected with something. Her eyes turned black. She shot me and went after the case I was carrying. She shot you? Yeah. I don't know what happened after that. Whatever was in that case, it killed her. It saved my goddamn life. So where do we find Falk? The Illyrium lab is just ahead. What's Illyrium? I don't think you're cleared for that. I don't think it matters anymore. Right. Well, we found it a couple years ago. Didn't take long to figure out that it's an extraterrestrial element. Some sort of space rock. It can't be a coincidence that these outsiders attacked the only Illyrium lab on Earth. You there! Stop! Stand down, soldier. Agent Nils, good to see you alive. Agent Carter, we need to talk. That's right. William Carter, Agent Second Class CIA, reporting as ordered. Now, can I get some answers? You had an artifact to deliver. Do you have it? 
It was destroyed in the fighting, sir. I'd be dead if it hadn't somehow healed my wounds. Interesting. When we get out of here, my team will want to do some tests. Sir, with respect, my assignment here is temporary. Under the circumstances, I should report immediately to Director Frost. We have to assume that the Director of Central Intelligence is dead. Sorry, Carter, but the protocols are clear. You work for me now. Why did they attack us? We've got a lot of theories, but no answers. Maybe they're from the moon, and they don't want us coming there first. This is hardly the time for jokes, Agent Carter. I can't just be here. Uncertain. There's been a nationwide communications blackout. I'm working under the assumption that Washington has been hit. My god. For now, we have to assume the worst. Do we know anything about these things? We've theorized about these outsiders for some time. But this is our first confirmed contact. And it's gone just great. We were hoping to learn more from that artifact you lost. But now, we've got no shortage of material to study. I just want to know one thing. How to get rid of them. You and me both, Carter. We can't stay here. First, we evacuate this facility. Then, we'll figure out how to strike back. Getting out of here is gonna be tough. I've got to finish securing the research here. Without it, we won't have a chance. You, Nils, and Agent Kinney, collect the commanders in the war room and lead them to the rail platform. Understood. Agent Carter, good to meet. Save it until we're out of here, Agent. Kinney, what happened to Agent Weaver? She headed towards the Down war there, room a little while in ago. In the lab. No word if she made it. What are they doing? Don't know, don't care. Get into position while they're distracted. Look, some of those gray ones! Get behind cover! I'm on it! Take it out! It's mine! Behind cover! Cover me, Carter! Attack! Taking it down! Take it out! Target spot! I'm bleeding bad! Yeah! We got him! That's it. Let's move on. I see why Falk wants you for the Bureau, Carter. That's what I told him. If this stuff is so valuable, shouldn't we be taking it? You don't want to go grabbing that with your bare hands. Trust me. What did it look like upstairs, Nils? Did you feel that? We lost the base. The boys are in full... Do you think anyone made it out? I doubt it. Uh! Let's not find out. 
Just get to the war room, collect the brass, and get out. If any of them are left to collect. Engaging! Enemies dug in! More artillery. We shouldn't feel it this far underground. <laughs> Over there! Watch my back! Moving! More of those things! I'm ready! What are they doing with the Illyrium down here? Everything. Reactors, munitions, all kinds of stuff. Some of the things I saw... It was just like out of one of the old Captain Thunderclap serials. Jesus. Those walls were supposed to withstand a nuclear blast. Let's get out before the whole place comes down. Get in there and help! God damn it! Play spotted! Bombs with the Illyrium. Yeah, nuclear bombs. Bigger than any nuke we have now. Way bigger. What were they building down here? Weapons fabrication. No end to the things Illyrium could do there. Anything we can use? Not unless you want to carry a bomb.
Jesus! doing this place is coming down we got to get the hell out of here first we save the brass then we evac the war room is just ahead what happened in here nothing good move General Deems, are you all right, sir? Where's Fog? What happened here? I'll ask the question, son. Yes, sir. Director Falk is at the rail platform. Our orders are to escort you there immediately. Then lead the way. Uh, ah! General! Clear the target, now! <laughs> That's not Deems! He's one of them! Nils, get back! Just hang on, sir. It's gonna be... Okay! Why did you stop me? What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that I just saved your life. Who are you? What the hell are you doing in the war room? Senior Agent Angela Weaver, from the Bureau. The Director sent me here to guard the Brass. You did just fine there. Are any of them still alive? Deems was already under outsider control when I got here. Some of them put up a fight, but not for long. You knew that he killed Hoover and the others. You could have taken him out earlier. I was going to, but he was resisting their control. He might have been able to fight it off. I shot him to stop him from killing the three of you. One of their puppets attacked me earlier. What's causing this? I'm not sure, but obviously it's connected to this attack. We've been tracking cases like this for years. Deems was one of our top brass. How did he come under their control without anybody realizing? As far as we know, there's no way of telling who might be susceptible to their control. If they got to Deems, they could get to any of us. We have to get out of here. Falk ordered us to bring any survivors to the rail platform. The diesel will only get you as far as the test site. Can we radio for evac from there? We're nearly out of time. Get to the rail platform and head out to the test site. I'll call in a Sky Ranger, collect Falk, and meet you there. If you can't reach the test site, we'll have no choice but to leave without you. General Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. Who's in command now? Falk is. And until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. For all we know, he's the president. You really think they got Kennedy? Let's go. Now. Jesus. What is that? Some kind of power source. Like those reactors back there. Those were bombs they were launching into the ground? No. I think they have other plans. What does it do? I don't want to be here when it does it. all this. Keep moving. Let's take them down! There it is. The rail platform. Shit! <clears throat> Outsiders on the rail platform! Carter, what do we do? Get down! On my way! We go through them. Ready your weapons. Let's 
Let's get out of here before this whole place comes apart. This will take us to the test site. What are we waiting for? Made it. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Oh no. I didn't like that. Hold on to something! Look at that thing! You two, hang on! God damn it! Get this thing going faster! Should be a radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. Come on, Carter, radio in and let's get out of here. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. I don't like the look of that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine. As long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Open fire! They come! They're down below! Let us know where you want us, Carter! Keep firing, he's almost dead! I'm not gonna make it a different place. 
They got that area locked down! Ow! I'm shut to pieces here. Let's keep moving. Carter, we're seeing enemy forces inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you... I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed. But it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. <clears throat> you really going to start the test sequence, Carter? Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. More inbound! Let's Agent, see. we got it coming! There it is! The Sky Ranger! Uh, hey, Carter, go! You don't look so good! Warning! Warning! Woo-hoo! Sky Ranger to Carter! Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Damn thing's catching them up! Come on. Carter, what do we do? Come on. Come on. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1, requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. 
Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know? Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Valk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself cease to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. 
And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. I haven't slept more than a couple hours in years. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. Like I said, this is our office and our bunks. Maybe someday they'll get the barracks up and running. No. I mean, I barely sleep at all. Well, can't say I blame you. Not after the morning you had. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office. ASAP, as always. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Five. Damn thing's doing it again. November.